Okay, welcome to this short video here. This is going to cover five, the top five tips for advert, Facebook advertising success. So the first one, the first tip is don't sell. When you're doing advertising, of course, it's natural to think that you're selling. But when you're on social media, you can't be selling. You need to be just trying to make connections. So don't try to sell directly from social media. That's a huge, huge tip if you get, if you can, uh, if you're making this mistake and you fix it, it's going to help immensely. So how do you do an ad without trying to sell? Well, you can talk about other things and indirectly um, promote your business or indirectly promote your products or services. Okay, but, um, you know, just talk about sideline things. Talk about things that your audience would be interested in. All right. Um, Tip number two, don't be boring, don't brag, don't talk about yourself. Because who wants to read that in their Facebook news feed? When people are looking through Facebook, through their news feed, they're not doing it to be bored. They're not doing it to find people who are bragging about themselves or talking about themselves. So if you can do something with an ad or with a post that turns into an ad that is interesting, fun, unusual, useful, helpful, that's what you're going for. Um, use custom audiences and retargeting. Um, so a custom audience is a saved, I shouldn't use that word because there are also saved audiences, which, which is a little bit different, but a custom audience would be, an, uh, some examples are, um, an audience, a list of people who have visited your website in the past 30 days or 60 days or 90 days all the way up to 180 days, you can define it. Um, so you can track, you can show ads to people who have visited your website. You can also have custom audiences to show ads to that include people who watched one of your Facebook videos for a certain length of time or, or uh, people who have clicked on your Facebook page or posts. Um, people who have liked or commented or shared on your Facebook content. Those can be made into custom audiences and it's very, very easy to do. And then you can show ads to just them. That way you're narrowing down your audience so that you're not showing ads to people who are not interested. And that's what retargeting is all about. And that's uh, really the big big thing to use on Facebook. If you can get to a point where you're doing that, you're going to have a lot better success. Um, and then this one is so important, a very good offer. So even if everything else is right, but you don't have a very good offer, then, you know, things just aren't going to work. Um, you need to have something that's good enough to get people's attention, something that is compelling so that they'll take action. Um, and it doesn't just mean something. It doesn't just mean something that's cheap, or or a big discount. There's a lot of different ways that you can have a good offer. Um, so uh, that's a big one, and it's, it's got. It can't just be a commodity type thing, a usual everyday thing. It's got to be something good, something kind of unique. Um, okay, and then the last tip: a clear, compelling message with a relatively urgent call to action. So your message has to be clear, your post has to be clear, people have to understand what it's saying and very quickly, so you need to use very simple language, short words, short sentences. Um, make it so easy to read that a second grader could read it because that would make it easy for people to read quickly when they're moving fast, scrolling through the newsfeed. <clears throat> Your call to action, if it has a little bit of urgency to it, that will get people to act. Uh, people tend to procrastinate. They might be interested in something, but if there's no reason to do it now, they'll put it off and then they'll most likely forget about it. So uh, if you can be 
urgent I like put a deadline on it that's a the, the usual the most usual way to do it um, say this offer is only good for the next 24 hours or something like that or you'll get an extra um, benefit by acting now so make it make it a little bit urgent but make it clear so that they know what to do and um, the message should be compelling it should be interesting to them so that it may, gets their interest so it makes them want to act so if you can do these five things it'll make a huge huge difference this is what the people who are successful with Facebook advertising are using they are definitely doing these things so <clears throat> think about this and try to make it work with your Facebook advertising and I'm sure that you will have advertising success on Facebook if you can get these things right. Okay, I'm Jeff Melland, and this is the end of this video. Thanks for watching.